so to list the um reminders below the leads view what we can do is we can use a same kind of a card view and list them so let's see how we can start the development i'll go into my lead view okay this is a card why don't we have a header to it so that it is easily understood that this is the lead details okay and we will have a similar card for this is card i need a row let me add a row dev column md12 i'll add this i need some um, margin so i'll do margin bottom and okay not not here sorry this is the breadcrumb i don't need it here i will need this when i add the new card so i'll have row column md12 in that i'll have a card this card will hold my reminders okay so card header will have lead reminders and this is where the reminders will come just let's confirm that you know whatever we just did is coming up properly so it does so we have a new card in here where we want to display the reminders now how do we do that we already know that the lead prop right is getting an array of reminders so there can be two scenarios one is that the array is empty which means we don't have any reminder to show to the end user and the second one is where you know we have rem reminders so let's first um add the first condition which is you know when we have cards or sorry reminders so we if lead dot okay by the way it's lead because if you remember we are storing the lead prop into the lead so locally we can use lead so lead dot reminder dot length okay if this is greater than zero right so how do we do this then we render this card right and hold on if we render okay lead is here yeah so if we have anything in the length we render this otherwise dev dot card v else you need to add why don't we have a button so we have the button dot btn add new reminder okay this is what we will have it in the end it will be a link but for now let's just see how things are rendering uh, it is breaking somewhere is it that's strange um some problem reminder is undefined i was expecting this because reminder is not readily available right so it may complain so it still says lead dot reminder is undefined is an empty object if i do an empty object um so what are we doing this dot lead has lead prop which is fine and lead dot okay sorry reminders i think we can try once more reminders should be fine yes it is so you know 
um, if we look at the database and go into the reminders table for lead ID 11, right? We have two reminders for nine. We have one reminder. This is 11. I have two. So, you know, that's fine. It, sh it was showing that, you know, uh, we will show the display the reminders. However, if I go here, it says add new reminder, right? So that's the correct behavior for you know, whatever we intended to do as per our logic, which is the V if we render else the button. And now let's look at how we can display. So this is going to be simple. What am I trying to do here? I will be using the bootstraps list group. So let me see ul list group and because this list is inside the card i'll also have list group flush it will not have those you know um, right and left borders it will just have these you know alternate lines or you know bottom border to handle the list okay so this is my ul i'll have list item list group item and list group item action this gives me that hover kind of an effect okay and now this th that's the class i'll have a v4 in here v4 reminder in lead dot reminders okay i got the reminder i need to define the key as well i don't um want that to you know, linger around so key key will be reminder.id that is unique enough to you know set as a key now in here i will have a div row and div column let's say md6 this is going to be the description okay then i'll have one which is going to be the date so why don't we we add them reminder dot reminder date oops okay this is reminder dot reminder okay it's basically all the rows that i am picking up so this is done this is done after that we will have the status okay and the last one will be a link why don't i steal that from lead view um this is the lead view i need the index index of oops not the dashboard but the leads in here i have this link oops what am i doing so i'll just copy that and i'll paste it here it is going to lead which i don't want it to go right now i can keep it simply a hash link okay and let's just see whether we are able to render the reminders or not so 10 has no reminders that is fine i never expected it to re render anything this does okay um just one more thing a little bit of cosmetic things so float right i think this should fix the problem yes it does now a few things to look at i have my description here the date is here this is looking very odd so i want this to be you know capitalized and i don't want it to do in my javascript so inside reminder i will use the laravel's accessors so our property is status so i can do get and then the attribute name status attribute we get the value as a parameter and we need to return whatever is the change i mean we need to return after doing whatever changes we need to do so i will do uc first value and if we are lucky enough yes that's done so just to make it a little bit of uh, make it a little prominent i will hmm, maybe add a strong tag to it 
just to make that a little more you know stand out that this is pending right we can later on do even color coding if required but that's fine i mean i'm not going to going into that ux level details right now but the basic thing is we have the lead listing uh, lead details with our reminder listing in place okay the ones which don't have reminders we get this add new reminder we will create the form to add a new reminder in the next video and the ones which have reminders are listing them so yeah that's how we you know have that view in place i think uh, the lead view is slowly growing into quite a big component and this is where we definitely need to refactor a bit and you know get this form into its own component maybe you know this entire reminders can become a component so that i can pass um you know, the reminders to this this maybe this entire card or i don't know maybe this ul and um, you know simplify the um this parent component so yeah that's something which we will pick it pick up after we do the reminder add form and um, see how things go so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel